Hello singers! Welcome to the fourth video of our fast reading session. But before we start, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel so that you can support my project. Thank you! Our aria today is from Tosca, Vissi d'arte. So let's get started. Vissi d'arte. You repeat. You have a double S. Be careful. Vissi d'arte. Vissi d'amore. So here you have V, V at the beginning. V, 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 Vissi d'arte. You repeat. Vissi d'amore. Amore is not with double M and the O is closed, be careful. So it's, it's not amore, okay? Or okay, so now we repeat it fluent. Vissi d'arte, vissi d'amore. You. You also have R's here that are a little uh, difficult. One is rolled and the other one is flipped. The one in arte, 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 can you hear it rolling? And the other one, amore, is flipped between two vowels. Let's go on. Non feci mai male. So the non negative is not the no, which is open O, but it is closed O. Non. Mm. First N is N, N, N. Second is N, N, N. Nasalized. So, non, non, non feci. And you can hear this nasalized N making an assimilation with the F. Non feci. Non feci. Can you hear? Non feci mai male. Mai is the Italian word for never and is not mai. Don't do that. Mai is not right. Mai male. So let's say it separate and then together. Mai male. Mai male. You. Okay, again. Non feci mai male. You. Ad anima viva. Ad anima viva. All at once. Ad anima viva. Con man furtiva. And here you have the rhyme with viva. So careful and respect it. Um, Comman. Here we have an assimilation or nasalization. We have to be careful not to say conman. This is not very elegant, so we prefer to say the nasalized sound. Comman. Comman. Because the word in Italian is con, con, con. Con, which means with. But con sounds quite like an M. It's an assimilation, actually. Con man furtiva. Furtiva. You try. Furtiva. Quante miserie. And here the word miseria, you can also hear some native speakers 
uh, saying miserie, miserie, closed e. It should be open, but uh, as we all uh, speak with regionalisms, we sometimes make mistakes uh, as far as standard diction is concerned, but um, it, uh, if we want to change the vowel from our habit, uh, we could affect negatively our sound. So sometimes native speakers prefer to keep their own accent, their own uh, spoken mistakes, uh, in, in order not to uh, affect negatively their, their sound, the, the sound of their voices. So you can choose if you want between miserie or miserie. Can you hear it? Okay, so the two words together, quante miserie or quante miserie. Careful because quante, quante, you can hear again the N which is nasalized. So, quante miserie conobbi aiutai. Aiutai. Sempre con fe sincera. Or, sempre con fe Sincera. La mia preghiera. La mia preghiera. Preghiera. La mia preghiera, or more uh, standard diction correct, preghiera, you try, preghiera. So, la mia preghiera, you ai santi mm -mm -mm. ai santi tabernacoli tabernacoli sali stress on the eye ai santi tabernacoli you can hear tita ai santi tabernacoli salì sempre con fe sincera or sempre con fe sincera Diedi or diedi, you try diedi, diedi. Be careful with the D's, the T's. They don't have to have uh, hair through, through them. They are not D, T. They are D, diedi or diedi. Diedi or diedi, okay? Diedi fiori, flipped R, fiori, never say fiori, agli altar, agli, gli, gli, agli altar. Nell'ora del dolore. Here we have lots of R's. Ora dolore. Ne, ne, nell'ora. You try. Nell'ora del... Nell'ora del dolore. 
del dolore lots of these the the del do del dolore articulation is very important here del dolore And here it says the many perché, perché, this word is very important here, perché, and sometimes you can also hear some of this perché here pronounced like perché, but this is just because of singing and from time to time you can hear some of them with closed ear, others with open, you can choose uh, but be careful, don't open it too much because it's not so elegant if you exaggerate. Perché, signore? And here you have a, a, phrasing, a, a phrasing doubling, which is not written because the word signore is written with just one S. It is the word for Lord. And it is signore, ny, with ny, ny, ny. And uh, the sound GN for us is not GN, it is ny, ny. Like GL is, gl, is not GL, but it is Y, Y, Y. Okay? Like York, York, but a little stronger. Like a Y, but a little stronger. York, Y. And uh, so uh, be, be careful here because you have perché signore, and here you have a phrase in doubling, and uh, it is it is not to be pronounced too much. Be careful. Hmm? We as Italians we don't really are aware of doing this, but we do sometimes. Perché signore? But it is too much. It is very emphasized. So be careful. You can do it a little bit, not too much. Okay. And perché me ne rimuneri così? Wow, this is difficult. Perché you me ne you rimuneri rimuneri you così? So let's try it all. Perché me ne you? Perché me ne rimuneri you? Perché me ne rimuneri così? So we have a stress that is not written, but that sounds quite like a, a strong stress. Like perché me ne? Perché me ne? Try. Perché me ne rimuneri? Così. Sul me ne. Me ne. Hmm? Perché me ne rimuneri così? Or you can have, well, you can have a phrase in doubling on the end. Me ne rimuneri, but it's not, it's not so, you could do it, but it's not so beautiful. It sounds, doesn't sound so beautiful. It, you can hear, from natives, you could um, often hear Perché me ne rimuneri? Perché me ne... This M, this double M can happen. Can happen. It's a little better. But you can choose the one you prefer. Perché me ne rimuneri così? Or per, perché me ne rimuneri così? But not both. Never do two phrasing double in the same sentence. It's not, it's not elegant at all. Okay? So let's go on. Diedi gioielli. Diedi. This diedi is again something that other, some Italians would pronounce diedi. Diedi. So you can choose diedi or diedi. But let's try it with the, with the following words so you can have an idea of how it sounds and you can choose. Diedi gioielli. You try. Or diedi gioielli. And this diedi, e, close e, um, is not so uh, easy for singing. But if you close in the sense of copertura, diedi, diedi, it becomes a little closer. So it could be even better for singing, the closed e. But not the... the the spoken closed E. 
the, the singing closed E, okay? And uh, so, uh, die di gioielli or die di gioielli, careful with that L, double L, li, gioielli, della Madonna al manto. And here we have gioielli della. So don't waste time putting hair through the D that makes you stop the phonation or simply uh, slow, slow it down. Uh, die di gioielli della Madonna or die di gioielli della Madonna al manto. E diedi il canto agli astri. Or, e diedi il canto agli astri. And with between e and diedi or diedi, uh, diedi, you can have a phrase in Davoni if you if you want e diedi or e diedi. Al cielo e, e diedi or e diedi il canto agli astri al ciel che ne ridean più belli ridean ends with n but it sounds like a M. Ridean, ridean più, ridean più belli. Che ne ridean più belli. In this case, ridean più doesn't really sound like an M for a native Italian, but it is a very nasalized N. So it is really back and it could be confused between N and M. You could, you, you don't really have to think of an M. Ridean più, ridean più, it's like non più, okay? Ridean più belli. And you can have a phrasing double on the end of che ne, che ne ridean, che ne ridean, and più belli. So again, the sentence of nell'ora del dolor perché signor perché me ne rimuneri così I really hope you found this video useful if you need my help for more information about Diction for Singers contact me you can write me an email write to me on Instagram or on Messenger, through Facebook, as you want. You can ask for lessons online. Also, if you need some specific areas, you can ask, and I will be more than pleased to help you. So, let's keep in contact. Good singing, everybody. Bye-bye.